all today we will see how to create a repository and integration service in informatica so uh, here i have only one repository which is pcrs so we'll see today how to create a, another repository so first of all we need to log in into the administrator home page of informatica so you need to give your username and password So now once it is logged in to the main home page of uh, administrator and then you you can see on the left side navigator pane that there is a one option as a domain so under a one domain you can create as many as repositories and as many as integration services you want so now first of all we'll create a one repository so for that you need to right click on this domain and click on new and here is an option power center repository service just click on that okay so here it asks the name of the repository so let us give a name as training and description is not mandatory location is by default it shows that under which domain you are going to create it then you need to select the license and you need to click on the node so license and node will be a default option so based upon the license key and the node you have and then click on next and from the database we will select oracle and because i am going to create the repository on oracle and username and password so for that you need to create a new username and password to in your database so here uh, now i have uh, logged into the oracle and let's create a new user here So create user then username identified by the username so once you run this a user is created for you now next step is to grant dba permissions to this user Yeah. once you gave the grant permission uh, basically you gave the DBA permissions to the info training user so you can come back to your admin page and there you can add the user ID or basically username and the password is also same the username only and in the connection string type ORCL and click on this option no content content exists under the specified connection string and click on finish So now it is trying to create a repository. yeah here you can see that your repository is available now so you have a new repository named as a training and once you create the repository uh, go to the repository properties option click on edit and make the operating mode to the normal and click ok click ok
yeah sometimes it take time to complete the task so it depends upon the machine's performance yeah so your power center repository is now available and it is uh, the operating mode is normal so now we are good to use this so once you have the power center repository so the next step is to create an integration uh, integration service so we'll go to this domain again to create a new integration service right click on that click on new and power center integration service and give the name of the integration service so you can give any name and your location would be a default and the license and node again will be same click on next and here it asks which particular repository you want to connect with this integration service so you can decide all of the repositories will be available here so for the timing we are going to select the training and then you need to give the username and password so your username and password uh, will be administrator and administrator so the same will be your password and click finish click ok So your integration service is also created on the left side with the name as is underscore tra so once your integration service is created it will be by default in the disabled state so your next action item should be to enable it so go to the actions on this right side corner and click on enable service Now your integration service is also available. So now uh, we can log out this page. Even we can close it and then once we'll go back to our workflow manager or a designer. So you just click on any of the existing repository and go to the above menu options. Click on the config domain so here your new repository will be available so you just need to click on that and click ok so have a, you have a new repository available you can just try connecting it So once it is connected it will also show that which is the integration service related to this particular repository so this is how we we create integration service and the repository thank you all thanks for watching